Hello everyone, welcome back to Gitroy Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix Motor Fest, the crew Motor Fest is having crashing issue, it is not launching, freezing, stuttering, low FPS drop, black screen and even stuck on loading screen which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this app. The game is available both on the Ubisoft and also the game is available even in the Epic Games launcher. So it is available in both. So right now as you can see over here in the library, I am having the crew motor first. So the game is available in both platform. In order to play on the Epic Games, you have to connect it into the Ubisoft account which I did already. And the game is good for me. So we are going to talk about how to fix this if you are having this crashing issue. So the first one when you are having this particular issue, what we need to do is we just need to do a simple restart on the PC. So for this we just need to go over here in the start, click on this particular icon. Go over here in the power icon, go for a restart, once the restart is done, once the restart is done, try and launch the game. That is what we have to do as the first step. So this is a very basic step, if this is not working, we have to move to the next step. Next step is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to do is we just need to restart uh, the Steam or whatever what we are using. If it is the game is not available in the Steam, so you can try closing the Ubisoft, try it once again. Or you can try going over here if you go to the account option there is a logout option so go for logout then once once afterwards try logging back into the same ubisoft account with giving the respective credentials same over here in the for epic games launcher we have to sign out and login back once again which is like giving a fresh start to both all these things so try logging back if the respective credentials sign in with your google account once afterwards try launch the game it worked for many users we can try this over as well Next one is all about nothing but we need to launch the game from the installation folder. That is very important. So in order to launch the game from the installation folder, so we have to go over here. Now from here as you can see we have to go to manage option in some cases which will take you to this. Over here as you can see. Now we have verify files option, create a shortcut etc is there. Now the installation is here. So uh, we can also done with this or else we can also navigate very easily that we can navigate to the installation folder just going over here in the file explorer go to this pc now from here we can go to local disk c and from here we can navigate to the installation folder from here that is also working for many of us it also worker for this so you can navigate to the installation folder if it is installed on c if the game is installed on d then you can just go over here in the respective one and you can navigate to the installation folder and you can try launch the game so we can see whether there is any shortcut or not so whether if there is a shortcut so right click over here now over here as you can see we can go to the manage option over here so right now as you can see there is an option called verify option and uh, there is a shortcut so if you try to create a shortcut a shortcut will be created and this is the game is around 35.7 gb so uh, this is uh, around 37.7 gb so that is what it is so for the installation folder, we have a shortcut instead of directly going through the file explorer, navigate to files, you may be a bit confused. For, with, for, without doing this, just go over here, click on this particular icon on the installation, click on this one. So that is redirect you to this one. That is this uh, PC, local disk C, program, file ex, uh, program files, epic games, the crew motor first. Now from here, if you scroll down, you can see this is the application that is crew motor first application 42257KB. So launch the game from here. This particular step worked for many users, you can try this out. So in my knowledge, it worked for many, so you can try this out. If this is not working, we can try with the next one. Next one is all about nothing but we have to run the game as an administrator. For running the game as an administrator, we just need to go over here. Right click and we have to go to show more option, go to properties, go to compatibility and click on run this program as an administrator. Go for apply and go for ok and try launch the game. So running the game as an administrator will be working fine, which will be uh, one of the, uh, you know, uh, it worked for many users, we can try this out as well. If that is not working, we can move to the next one, that is all about, we need to run the game in the compatibility mode. So just go over here, right click and we have to go to show more option, go to properties, go to compatibility, click on run this program in the compatibility mode, go for apply, go for ok. And once you are done with this one, just close this and we can try launching the game. This will be working fine. So if you already installed the game with the Ubisoft account, we can navigate to the installation folder. Just going through like the where you need to go. We have to know where you install it. 
if it's on D, you can navigate to D or else it's on C. Most probably it will be installed on C. So just go to C, program files. Now from here you have to navigate to the Ubisoft account. And from here you will be able to find if any games are installed there, you will be able to find it. So just find the respective one. And once you find the respective one, most probably you can launch the game and see if the issue is solved it or not. This is what we have to do. After trying with this, if the issue is still there, the next one is all about we have to make sure the date and time and region is correct. For this, we just need to go over here in the search. We have to go over here in the settings. We have to go over here in the settings. Just go to settings. Now from here, go to the time and language. Go to the date and time. Make sure the time and time zone should be correct. This is very important. We have to make sure the date and time and time zone should be correct. So just go back, go to the language and region. Over here, we have to make sure the geography should be correct. So if you're from India, you have to select India. If you're from United States, select United States and try to launch the game. The next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is even the issue still you are facing with this, you can try with the next one. That is launch the game and you have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. I don't know how this is working. If you're on the Ubisoft, launch the game, press Alt and Tab. Simultaneously, if you're on the Epic Games, launch the game, press Alt and Tab. So for few users, when it comes to the Steam, this particular step works. It. So you can try this out. If that is not working, just move to this, skip this step and move to the next step. Next step is all about we have to delete the saved game file. So for this, we just need to go over here in the file explorer. Now go to this PC, go to documents over here. So right now you will be able to find my games. So over here in the folder, you can see the crew 2 folder is there. So just delete the respective folder. So when you delete this respective folder, you have to keep in mind for the crew motor first, you will be losing all the progressions of the game. So that is very important. So try deleting and try launching the game. Keep in mind, you'll be losing all the progressions. So try launch the game and that will be working fine. Next one is all about nothing, but what we need to do is we just need to allow the game to Windows security. For this reason, we have to go over here in the search. And from here, what we need to do is we just need to go over here in the control panel. Now from here, go to system and security, go for Windows Defender Firewall, go for allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. So keep scrolling down and navigate to the crew to Motorfest. So hence it is an alphabet we have to check here. So right now over here, as you can see, if you check over here, you will be able to find it. So if the game is not here, do not worry, we can add it by default. So just uh, check over here in the T that is uh, the game is added or not the game is added the crew motor first is added as you can see the private and public both is enabled so once you add the game it is fine but if the game is not there we can add it by default so just click on the change setting go for allow another app go for browse go to this pc go to local disk c go to program file x uh, program file x86 go to epic games go over here in the launcher not in the launcher we can go back uh, we'll be able to find it over here. So uh, not here. Uh, over here we found it. Somewhere else we'll be able to find it. So just add the game from here. So uh, this worked for many users. We can try this out as well. So uh, this is what it is when it comes to how to add it by default. So once you navigate to the installation folder, add it. So most probably if you have this, if you try to add it by default, you'll be getting the error because the game is already added. Once you add the game to Windows Security, just close this and we have to go back, try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to move to the next one. That is all about we have to close all the overlay application which is very important. For just go over here in the start, right click over here, go to the task manager. So if you find unwanted things here, just remove it. For example, right now there are 53 apps running in the background. So uh, over here, as you can see, the 53 apps are running in the background. So what you need to do is we just need to remove the unwanted things. For example, Discord, Reward Tuner, MSA, Afterburner. Just remove everything from here. Once you remove everything, you can try launching on the Ubisoft as well as you can try launching on the Epic Games as well. This will be working fine. So try launching the game hereafter. Next one is all about nothing but we have to unplug all the USB devices. So your systems might be connected with multiple monitors, joystick, controllers, reward, uh, logitech wheels, etc. might be for these kind of games. Remove everything. Once you remove everything, launch the game. Same way on the Epic Games also. You can try launching the game. Remove everything. Even if you wanted to continue playing the game with the controller, first remove everything, launch the game. Once the game is launched and moving successfully, just connect it back to the controller and try playing the game. And this is what you have to do. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to move to the next one that is all about we need to perform a clean boot for this we just need to go over here in the search 
go over here in the search and we have to search for system configuration so just search for system configuration over here now from here go to the services and go for uh, hide all microsoft services go for disable all go for apply and go for ok so it will be asking you for a restart in some cases for right now this is not working i'll show you once again just go to the services go for hide all microsoft service not hide all disable all go for hide all microsoft services go for apply go for ok you will be asked for restart so if the restart is asking just go for restart the users who are watching this go for restart but here i am in middle of video so i am going to go for exit without restart try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to uh, run the game on dedicated graphics card for both uh, for the ubisoft as well as for the epic games launcher for this just go over here in the search go for graphics settings so just type for graphics settings once you search for graphics settings now from here we just need to keep scrolling down and navigate to add the game so just click on the browse now from here go to this pc now from here as you can see we need to find where the game is installed just go to the respective one where the game is installed so from here once you find uh, the game you can just go over here to the respective one so i'll be showing you over here just one minute so i forgot it where it is manage let me go over here so that is epic games the crew motor first okay so what i need to do is i just need to go over here go to the browse go to local to see go to program files i need to find epic games go to the crew motor first now from here i have to select this one and go for add it so the game is already added so just go to the option by default this would be let windows decide change this to high performance and go for save once you save this just close everything try launch the game and that is what we have to do next one is all about nothing but we need to increase the virtual memory it worked for many users so just go over here in the search search for view advanced system setting so just click on this one go to the advanced go for settings go to the advanced once again go for change so we need to uncheck this and also we can see select the sys uh, select the disk where the game is installed so for me it is in c i have to select c go for custom size give the value initial size that is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is 3 times the total ram so just go over here so we need a calculator so just search for the calculator so just type the ram so 32 gb is my ram so i have to type the ram so type your ram if the 4 type 4 if 16 type 16 so the minus 32 gb now type a constant value that is 1024 multiply it with 1.5 that brings you 49152 so just copy this value paste it next one we have to go over here multiply 32 gb multiply it with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that is 98 3 not 4 and we have to copy and this paste it so just go for ok everything should be done once after this do a simple restart and once after this try launch the game next one is all about nothing but we need to update the graphics card so i'll be providing a link in the description to update the graphics card so uh, both nvidia and amd will be provided so if you're on the amd just go over here select every details over here like product type product series product operating system uh, system etc so just select this so i'm on windows 11 so i have to select windows 11 do it according to your configuration and go for start search when you go for start search what happens is you will be getting these option so download the latest version 537.34 which is released on september 12 2023 so just download this install restart is mandatory and try launch the game so if you're on the amd just go over here select every details and go for submit now from here once you go for if you're on windows 11 download this one if you're on windows 10 download this one install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to install microsoft visual c plus plus so over here microsoft visual c plus plus keep scrolling down i'll be providing this link if the system is based on x64 download this one if the system is based on x86 download this one restart is a mandatory and try launch the game last one is all about what we need to do is we just need to uninstall and reinstall the game for this we just need to go over here we can try uninstalling the game so it worked for many users we can try this out just uninstall the game keep in mind when you uninstall the game so right now like i said the game is installed on c try installing it back on d or any other drive this is what you have to do and these are the possible workaround which can be done i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye